The word chowder traces its beginnings from the French word chaudière, uh, which means cauldron. Now we associate chowder with places like New England and Manhattan, and today's chowder is made with fresh corn, potatoes, and cream. It is delicious, so let's get started. Four tablespoons of butter melted, one large white onion peeled and diced, about five cups of corn kernels freshly cut off the cob, salt, about a teaspoon, and cook this over a medium to low flame until the corn starts to exude its liquid. And don't forget a little bouquet garni of five or six sprigs of thyme. I like to wrap it up in cheesecloth like this because I don't want a lot of greenery in my chowder. For stock, we're using corn stock made out of the corn cobs. Very simple, as you saw. And just let this cook slowly for 20 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Do not burn or brown. So the corn has been cooking for about 15 minutes. Now it's almost time to add the potatoes. These are fingerling potatoes, which are in the markets pretty regularly now. And it's a small stubby potato, the length of a finger. Peel it clean and then cut it into oh, like half inch discs. These will cook nice and evenly. And they're an odd shape, so they're kind of curious. I like that. And we have five cups of corn stock. You can add that right now. And now add your one pound of fingerling potato discs. And you're going to continue cooking until the potatoes are tender to the point of a knife. So watch them carefully. You don't want the potatoes to fall apart, but you certainly want them tender and edible. So remove the little herb bouquet, the thyme packet. Looks very good. Now we're going to remove about a third of this and puree it. See how gorgeous and well cooked everything is? I'm going to take out a lot of the solids and puree what's left in the pot. Using an immersion blender, it works so well. And this will make the soup, the chowder, very nice and thick. Now be very careful when pureeing hot liquids like this. Don't splatter it on yourself. Be very careful not to uh, look away from the job. It's um, a little frightening to get hot liquid splattered on you. And don't lift it out of the liquid while it's still going. So there, that looks good. Now add to the pureed portion of the soup, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream, or I'm using half and half. That's rich enough for me. Um, nice sprinkling of black pepper, a sprinkling of salt. Stir that around. You can see what the consistency is. It's lumpy a little bit, but still greatly pureed from what's here. Now I would pour the hot liquid right over the still intact corn and potatoes. Serve this while it is piping hot. I think I'm going to have a big bowl of this soup. This is really pretty. Each bowl can be gently garnished with 
very finely cut chives. It's very nice with the corn and the potatoes. You can let people add more salt or pepper as they like. And if you're like some people in my family, make sure you have a little hot sauce on the side. It really enlivens the flavor of the corn. So hot sauce for you, none for me. Beautiful, beautiful corn chowder.